Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. What is the real name of God? God has many names, but one of his names is Jesus. But another name is, it goes like this. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. That's one of his names. That's how you address him. What is a name except for something that gets that person's attention and makes them realize you're talking to them? If somebody calls your name from, from 100 feet away in a crowded room, you turn and look, right? How do you get God to turn and look? I'll tell you how. Almighty most holy Lord, faithful through the ages, almighty, most holy God, glorious almighty God. How about that? How's that for getting his attention? How about this? Do you have to put on praise and worship? Do you have to have a MP3 player and a CD player, or DVD player? You, do you have to put it on and hit play in order to do that? You better not. It's time for God to hear your voice. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord of Israel. From everlasting to everlasting. From everlasting to everlasting. Everlasting. And the people sing praise, ye the Lord. What I miss, and this is one thing that bugs me about the sorrowful, mournful day of prayer. October 10th, 2015, when everybody gathered in Washington to complain and and to protest because they they don't have enough rights here in America. And all these crazy... What started it? Really, you want to talk about what started it. It started when Michael Brown robbed a liquor store, strong arm, and then his friend Dorian Johnson walking down the street, get an attitude with a cop, kid charges the cop, almost fires his gun, has an altercation... And then this kid, Dorian Johnson, lies and says that he was exec executed, shot point blank in the head execution style, which was a lie. And then the mass media runs with it. The mass media runs with the lie. And now we have a protest in Washington saying there's all sorts of injustice. Are you kidding? The injustice is that Dorian Johnson didn't go to prison. That's the only injustice. And so here we are, October 10th, Million Man March, down there, and you see people waving flags. Mexicans don't have enough rights. Blacks don't have enough rights. Black lives matter, as if they don't matter. Of course they matter. Are you kidding me? But the fact that they're protesting something like that tells me that they're not grateful for anything, they just want more. What happened to the old America? What happened to the America where the theme songs go like this? Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah, his truth is marching on. What happened to the America that was, God bless America, land that I live, stand beside her and guide her through the night. Well, anybody who knows how to sing that song, you go ahead and write it down and send it to me, because I, I just... Forgot completely <laughs> through the night with the light up above or something. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Oh, praise God. Jesus is Lord. Time is running out. America is no longer glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. His truth is marching on. Sadly, America has become a million man march where people just complain and want more rights. It's not good enough. America has become, we want pornography. We want music and mass media. We want, you know, Snoop Dogg and Katy Perry. We want more rights to break the law. We want to be able to rob a bank or rob a grocery store or strong arm rob a, a liquor store on the corner. Then lie and say, and then get into an altercation with a police officer, end up getting shot and killed, and then lie and say that that police officer was wrong. We want more rights to do that? Are you kidding me? Some people want rights so that they can go. They think it's okay for them to loot. You know, I'm just saying. We need to be in prayer. These are the end days. God has already ordained that Babylon the Great will fall. God's already said, given the okay. I'm just saying. God has given the okay. It's written in his word. It's all going to happen exactly as God says. Babylon the Great will fall. Then the mark of the beast will come out. How does Babylon the Great fall? Well, the first beast, there's a seven-headed beast with ten horns. That's seven nations, ten leaders. Can you count the nations? Can you look across the ocean and say, huh, Russia, China, Iran, that's three of them. Putin, Xi, or Zing, whatever the leader of China's last name is. And then you got the Ayatollah, and then you have the other guy, the president. That's two guys right there. That might be, that might account for the seven. Turkey, is Turkey involved? Is Iraq and Syria involved? I don't know. I don't know what the seven heads are. I don't know what the ten horns are. But I could probably identify three of those horns and three of those heads. And out of those, the first beast rises out of the sea. And the second beast is already here. It rises out of the earth. Has a blasphemous name. What's that blasphemy? Oh, that's, that's Allah, folks. So the beast that's going to destroy America is partly going to rise up out of the ocean. Another part is going to rise up out of the earth. Y'all just watch and see. Y'all just watch and see. And this puts a whole bunch of Bible verses together that if you get a revelation of what I'm saying, all of a sudden you read the book of Revelation and go, Oh my God, China, that's the dragon. Just saying. Helping out the other beast. Helping out economically Russia. Russia out there arming every Islamic nation. And then you look at these nations and how they treat their people. Look at how China treats their people. Look how, um, you know, Iran. Okay, if you're a woman, you're basically... That's it. You're not going to be free to wear whatever clothes you want. I guess that's kind of a good thing because some of these women in the United States are dressing like little whores everywhere they go, teaching their little five-year-old daughter to dress like a prostitute. Are you kidding me? Seriously? Oh, she looks so cute. <laughs> yeah, until she turns 18 and she's pregnant and you got to figure out what to do about this kid. Abortion, then another abortion, then another abortion. Next thing you know, the girl's off somewhere on drugs. I can't figure out what went wrong. I don't know where I went wrong. You went wrong when you dressed her up like she, like like a whore when she was five, and then she grew older, got all sorts of attention from men, and then one day the bad guy, the wolf, came and got her. Some bad man. Come over here, cutie. Let me give you a free sample of this drug. Next thing you know, he can whore her out all he wants. And how old is she? Fourteen probably by then. You know, it's just, are you kidding me? 
Our role models are Snoop Dogg and Katy Perry. What? When did America shift? Then you got all the Christians complaining about America. Oh, the country's gone south. We're really terrible. It's gone so bad. I don't... Meanwhile, the Lord speaks and says, yeah, it was on your watch. It was during your generation <laughs> that you didn't pray. It was during the generation, this generation of Christian that raised up all the Hopney and Finney Hosses and all the lukewarm, disobedient pastor's kids that are now out there using crack, methamphetamine, heroin, out of control. Meanwhile, all the immigrants are immigrating here, getting saved, and their kids are basically running the businesses and basically have been elevated and promoted to a higher level. And all our kids, all the American kids, just want to go ride their skateboard and go surfing and use a GoPro camera to capture their most recent skydiving event and when they're not doing that they're off doing whatever it is they do anyway praise god jesus is lord time's running out sorry about my rant but if you want to look at why america is no longer america the great and uh, why america is no longer serving god is because of ministries like still small voice are so pro, pro they proliferate you got Creflo Dollar, you got Joel Osteen, you got people like, you know, these people, they're just teaching lukewarm disobedience, misunderstanding, misinterpreting God's word, meeting with demons and saying it's the Lord. <laughs> really? And then the whole world follows after that. <laughs> I'm just saying. One good way to basically get a bunch of followers is teach a lukewarm, watered-down Christianity. That God is just going to forgive everything you ever do, and God loves everyone. Don't talk about the weeds among the wheat. Don't say, you who are lukewarm, God's going to vomit you up. Don't talk about the foolish virgins. Don't talk about how most people are actually proclaim themselves to be Christians are going to be part of that great falling away and end up taking the mark of the beast. And when they do, they'll get mad at God saying, Oh, Dr. Rogers is about to happen. Still small voice said she met with Jesus and he said, Get ready because the rapture's right around the corner. Anyway, I want to be left behind to help, so I'll go ahead and take the, ra take the mark of the beast so I can be left behind. That's if you're going to be left behind to help, you got to take the mark of the beast or you're one of the 144,000. And trust me, when you really look at, <laughs> do you really want to be single and celibate? Because that's what the 144,000 are. Do you really want to live like Paul and John? Because that's what the 144,000 are. Do you really think that if one of the 144,000 were to get on YouTube and tell you straight up God's word, that you would reject it or accept it as God's word? What if one of the two witnesses has a YouTube channel right now? And he's going to get up here and start tormenting the inhabitants of the earth on YouTube. <laughs> How's it going to happen? How's it going to play out? I mean, how? I'm just saying. <laughs> Somebody get a revelation, please. <laughs> and God, you know what? Jesus is Lord. That's what I want to see. From here on out, you should be sending messages to people who are teaching on YouTube and teaching on television. Why don't you proclaim that Jesus is Lord in the middle of your teaching? Jesus is Lord. And there's a verse on, in the Bible that describes, it says, no one can proclaim that unless by the Holy Spirit. I'm just saying, I guarantee you, while still small voice, that Lady Claire, while she's sitting there with her little demon, that Nibiru spirit that calls himself Jesus, I guarantee you she cannot proclaim that Jesus is Lord. Just saying. 